Collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank sent the banking industry into a tailspin. Many investors are now weighing the recent bank run's impact on banks' ability to lend money with the expectation that a credit crunch could tip the U.S. into recession or at least be a contributor. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and Fed officials are not seeing much in the way of credit risk, but the head of President Biden's Economic Council says otherwise. We also talked to Jillian Chet just a bit ago of the FT, and she highlighted that risk. Yahoo Finance's Jennifer Schonberger has been watching this debate. What can you tell us, Jen? Good morning, Julie. Banks are showing some signs of pulling back a bit on credit, says Lael Brainerd, President Biden's new director of the National Economic Council and former vice chair of the Federal Reserve. Brainerd made comments in an interview on CNN, and those come as Fed officials have said they expect credit conditions to tighten in the wake of Silicon Valley Bank's failure. Though Brainerd said overall, the financial stresses stemming from those failures seem to be easing. Brainerd's comments contrast with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen's this week, who told reporters that she really hasn't seen evidence at this stage that suggests a contraction in credit, though she said it's still a possibility. New York Fed President John Williams similarly told me in an exclusive interview Tuesday that he's not seeing broader impacts on consumer and business spending from credit tightening, though it's still early days. But Brainerd, for her part, may be on to something. According to the New York Fed's latest survey of consumer expectations, a greater share of households said it was harder to get a loan in March than a year ago, as well as any other month since the survey of consumer expectations started in 2013. Consumers also think it will be harder to get a loan a year from now. Now, in another sign that banks could be co poised to cut back on lending, tiny $84 million market cap Bank of South Carolina said in their earnings press release Thursday that, quote, we are behind in our profit plan for the first three months of this year. This outcome is the result of precipitous increases in our deposit costs to meet the intense competition amongst banks, brokerages, and the U.S. Treasury. Although loan interest income has increased, our margins remain thin. Now, Fed minutes revealed Wednesday that Fed staff, that's different than Fed officials, members of the Fed, see a mild recession taking hold later this year as a result of reverberations from those bank failures. Asked about this on CNN, Brainerd simply said that banks across the board are working to shore up their balance sheet. The White House was also asked about this earlier this morning in Ireland, and White House Press Secretary pushed back, saying that recent economic indicators are not consistent with a recession or even a pre-recession. Julie? All right, I'll take it from here. Yahoo Finance's own Jennifer Schoenberger. Thanks so much, Jennifer, for breaking that down. Appreciate it.